Hi guys, welcome to the second video tutorial of WP Notes. In this video, I'll be showing you how to configure and work with the plugin. The very first thing that we want to do after we've actually activated the plugin is go over to our appearance screen and then over to widgets. Once you're on your widget screen, guys, is look for the new widget called WP Notes widget and drag that over to your actual location where you'd like to show it. Now, depending on your theme, guys, is going to be depending on what areas you're going to have. So on my theme here, I've got a sidebar widget area and I've also got a foot. Uh, I've also got a footer widget area as well. Um, depending on your theme again guys is going to depend on where you're going to be able to put this so i've actually already dragged this over to my wp notes widget area um, and once you've actually dragged it over there guys you've got a number of settings you can that we need to configure the very first one is what do you want to actually call or what do you want to label um, the heading that goes on top of your actual wp notes what goes on top of your actual questions how to's and everything so here's my website here guys i've already got it activated um, i'll go over to the home page and again, guys, the styling here, um, if it looks fairly horrible, this box around it, um, then that's from my actual theme. The theme's not very good whatsoever. So I can actually sit back later and go ahead and customize that. But you can actually customize all this here and the way WP notes actually look. OK, so this here where I've got click to reveal, that's this area here, what I've put down here. You can put anything you want down here. You can even leave it empty. I'll click on save, I'll show you this. And as you can see, it won't show nothing there whatsoever. And it'll just show these. Um, again, this uh, this theme isn't good whatsoever. Um, I don't like the padding area down here. Um, and that's all done from the actual theme itself, guys. Um, uh, different themes are going to use different layouts. Um, I'll actually show you my other theme here as well. So you can actually see how it looks. It actually looks much better on this one. Um, here we go. Um, it looks much better here um, and it really depends on on how you're actually working with it and and how you actually work with your theme as well okay so back over here guys i'm gonna leave that empty then um you've also got uh, the you've also got the option of how many to show so how many notes do you actually want to show in this actual area here i've got it down as three i can change that down to two if i want so it'll only show two um and if i click on refresh you'll see this reflect on here as well so it's only showing two now and if i click on refresh guys um, what you'll notice is um, the system is automatically configured to actually refresh through the notes. So say, for example, um, you've only got the widget to show two or you've got the widget to show three, four, five, but you've entered 15, 16, 20 or 30 notes. Um, then every time the page refreshes, um, the system will show random notes, which is fantastic because your users are always going to have fresh content and fresh notes to read. And the same is true for the search engines as well. OK, and then underneath this, guys, you've got a jQuery accordion theme to choose from. You've got over 24 um, very cool themes. Um, so I'll put this on, say, for example, South Street. I don't know what South Street is. I'll click on Save um, and I'll come over here. I'll click on Refresh. And what you'll see, this has actually changed down here. Well, that looks pretty cool, actually. It goes with my theme. Um, so I'll actually keep this on this, which is perfect. Um, OK, so once we've actually configured this, guys, and you're happy um, to work with this, um, well, sorry, you're happy with the way it looks and everything, um, then it's time to proceed to the next step. Um, this area here, guys, custom CSS. If you have a look down here, we've got the example of the CSS it's using at the moment. Um, if you want to change it, you can enter your own custom CSS here, guys. Um, again, this is for advanced users, um, so I'm not going to be going through this section in this video. OK, so now we're going to go over. Now we've configured the widget area. We're going to go over to W. We can actually let me just show you this as well. You can put WP notes in two areas as well, guys, if you wanted to. Um, I'll leave this exactly how this is here. I'll go over to here and I'll click on refresh. And as you can see, WP notes shows up here as well. Um, it's going to always show exactly the same. Sorry, you can actually show as you can see, this is showing five. We can set this to show one if we wanted to, um, because we've got it in a total different section. Um, but it's always going to use the same global notes. So there you go, guys. It is pretty cool, um, depending on exactly how you want to work with it. So I'll click on, I'll just inactive widgets. I'll wrap this over there. So we've only got the one widget on our actual home page and whatever pages as well. OK, so let's go over to um, now we've done this. We're going to go over to WP Notes Manager um, in the WP Notes Manager, guys. I've already added some questions in here. So obviously you can see this from here. Um, so I'm going to the reason I've added questions in here, guys, is so that I can actually show you 
how everything works. So I've added some qu some questions in here. It's very simple to add a question. You can go to add new. Um, you can go to um, hello. No, let's just write. You, you can add questions. You can add how tos. You can add tips. You can add on topic notes. It's entirely up to you. But the main idea about this, guys, um, is with the logic that the plugin's got inbuilt inside of it, which I'm going to be going through in a moment, um, is you can use your LSI related keywords um, to tap into human like more complex synonym and LSI based question type of of um, of queries um, that the hummingbird update is actually targeting. Um, okay, so let's just type in web hosting um, for okay, web hosting for this is just for an example sake guys. Um, so I hope you understand obviously you can add HTML in here as well. Um, so anyway, I've got four questions and four answers in here. Now, I'm going to go over to the settings area. On the settings area, um, I can actually show I can actually tell um, WP notes where to show it. Now this area here guys are for these questions and these answers that we actually put down on this area here. It's all going to make sense when I show you an example. So for the time being, I've enabled this to show on pages, on posts, on categories and on the home and front page. So as you can see here, guys, if I go over to the reseller hosting category page, it's showing. If I go over to the reseller hosting discount page or the cheap reseller hosting page, as you can see, it's all showing. Now, if you actually like the structure of this menu that I've got down here, guys, what you'll notice is recent posts um, is in the reseller hosting page and all the recent posts are for reseller hosting. Um, and I've only got a link back to my uppermost page, which is reseller hosting. And from here, it goes back to the actual home page. This is called a silo structure, guys. Um, and we've actually got a brand new plugin that we've released free of charge. Um, and if you want to benefit from this, then you can by going to www.wpsilos.com. Um, OK, so what I'm going to show you now is how we can actually configure this plugin um, to show much more, um, more focused and more on page unique content. So now I'm going to go over to my posts page. I'm going to go to all posts. And I'm going to go over to, OK, the first thing we'll do is actually I'll show you how this works. So if we can look at this, this is a post page now. Let's go over to a post page. Let's go to cheap retailer hosting. Um, this is a post page um, and this is showing up on the post page. Um, if I go here and click on disable on the post page, click on save settings, go over here and click on refresh. As you can see, it no longer shows on the post page. But if I go over to the category page, it actually shows on there, shows on the home page as well. Um, but when you go over to the actual post pages, like cheap reseller hosting post, it's not going to show. So I'm going to enable this again and I'm going to show you how we can overwrite this and how the actual rules of this plugin work and how the logic of this plugin works. So this is showing again on the post page, guys. And now I'm going to go over to all posts. I'm going to go over to this post, cheap reseller hosting. OK, cheap reseller hosting. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to look for the w add WP notes. Um, section so again depending on how your post page in your wordpress blog is actually laid out you might have to look for it so i'm going to show you how mine is laid out mine's at the very bottom so here we go here the very first thing we need to do is click on add note and then we can add our question in, in here so i'll be doing something like um let's type how to get cheap reseller hosting okay and here we can add an answer um so the answer can be anything you want and it can be in in uh, um, HTML as well. So I'll actually style it in here first. Um, you can get cheap reseller hosting by and then um, using a coupon code. Okay, and what I can do here is I can just take this. Okay, say for example, reseller hosting. I can highlight that. I can click on bold and I can click on coupon code, for example, and I can link that to let's just say Google. Okay, I'll click on add link. So there you go. And now I can take this and I can add this to here. Okay, and what I can actually do is I can add an empty. Okay, I'll show, let's do this first. Once we've done that, we need to click on, we need to check the enable WP note on page. This is actually enabling this on the page. I'm going to click on update. And so as you can see here now, we've got cheap reseller hosting posts still. Um, on the cheap reseller hosting post, we're still showing the global notes that we configured in this section here. But now what I've done, I went back over to the post and I've added 
notes directly to the post. So now this post is going to override the global post, the global notes. So I clicked on refresh. As you can see here, it's got how to get reseller hosting. I'll open that up there, guys. As you can see, that's a link. Um, you can't really see it's a link because of the way the theme's actually styled. Um, but I can click on that, and that's going to go over to Google, exactly like I've done. Um, and as you can see, reseller hosting there is in bold. If you can't actually see that, guys, and it's not very clear, then again, it's my theme. But what we can do is actually click on um, view page source, and I can click on, I can look for something like coupon. Here we go. And as you can see, it says you can get, and then it's strong, reseller hosting, strong, and then there's the Ahref link to Google. Okay, and if you wanted to, you can also add a line break in here as well um, by just leaving an empty paragraph. Okay, and I'll click on update. And I'll go over to here, I can click on refresh. Go on here, as you can see, we've got a line break in there now, and then we've got a link to Google as well, uh, which is fantastic. So what you can do with this plugin, guys, um, if we go over to reseller hosting, what you'll notice is it's got the global FAQs again, uh, sorry, the global notes again. And the reason it's got the global notes is because of the way we've got it configured here and we don't have any actual notes assigned to the category. If you wanted to assign notes to the categories, guys, you'll go over to categories um, and then you'll actually, when you're creating the category, you'll have a section down here to actually add the notes. Um, alternatively, you can go to already created categories, um, go into them and then towards the top, you've got add notes. Um, you can click on add notes. Don't forget to enable the checkbox here as well. Um, when you want to actually style your notes, guys, um, I personally use things like Dreamweaver. It hasn't got an editor in here. Um, I use things like Dreamweaver um, to actually help me style how um, to actually make it look. So as you can see here, guys, uh, we've got a nice image in there. We've got some nice UI, uh, sorry, uh, uniform structured um, UI. And I've done all this through Dreamweaver and then added it to my actual um wordpress blog so it's very simple very straightforward to use guys you can add it directly to categories um you can remove them as well if you want um you can choose where you want to place the widget by widget by going over to appearance widgets um and obviously you can tell it you can tell the system where you want to show the global um notes um whether you want to show them whether you don't want to show them that's entirely up to you you don't have to use these you can just use them directly on posts and pages so here's an example of a page guys so let's go over to page, a dedicated hosting page, for example. Um, I'm going to scroll down again, and here we've got WP Notes. If I add a note in here, I need to make sure I enable that as well. I don't want to add notes in here, though, because it's only an example. And I'm going to go back over to a WP Notes setting. Um, I'm going to actually add, uh, disable this on this blog um, because um, this is an actual test blog um, for our WP Silos plugin. So here's WP Silos, and you can get it from wpsilos.com, guys. Um, and it's a totally free WordPress plugin, guys. And it actually shows you how we build up the structure and how it all works. Um, and WP Notes um, will actually provide you with all the features that you need to keep your silo structure intact. So thank you very much, guys. And I hope you enjoy working with the plugin.